This is brutal. Like, this is fantastic damage. Wow. You see that shit? That was crazy, yo. Hello, ghouls and goblins. Welcome back, and thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. I hope you're having an absolute magical day. The streets of New Capenna have brought a literal ton of upgrades to the Rakdos Sacrifice build. Ooh-wee, what's good, what's not? Discussing all of the possible options to the deck within today's video, then showcasing my individual build for Alchemy Best of Three. That's my prefer preferred format while playing Rakdos Sacrifice. However, we will go through the adjustments if you want to turn it into a standard deck as well. So, you know, don't get too upset, right? I know a lot of you don't like Alchemy, but it's all right. We're going to take care of everyone in today's video. So make sure to show a thumbs up. And give me that support because we're going to break down one of the strongest decks in the meta with the newest upgrades in the highest ranks, which is really cool. So let's take a look what we're dealing with. Rakdos Sacrifice, uh, getting down and dirty. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the end of the month rank decay and all of this when we wrap up. Also touching on the standard adjustments for the brew or list uh, at the end of the video. But before that, let's break down what we have and then we'll showcase it within the mythic gameplay. So our Rakdos Sacrifice is an artifact based deck. We do have a 1.9 average mana value. Uh, this means it's very, very quick. It's incredibly easy to start casting two cards and potentially even three cards per turn as we curve into, you know, four and six mana. Traditional alchemy, which means best of three, and the alchemy is the arena-only digital format, which is a lot of fun. 22 lands, and we have an MDFC here to bring us into 23. Within the Shatter Skull Smashing, it's going to also act uh, as a little bit of removal for us as well. Late game dealing X damage divided as we choose among any, uh, well, not any, but two, up to two number of uh, either creatures and or planeswalkers if x is six or more we get to double that damage which is fantastic so you know nice late game removal but more times than not it's just a land right while we're on the land of course we do have the mire this is really nice to bring back the uh you know beloved blood artist as when it dies as it's conjured it will still go to your grave so you can grab that back to your hand replay it for two it's really cheap easy peasy lemon squeezy then of the bugbear very good for putting in more damage. Obviously, it comes out as a 3-2 goblin. And when it attacks, it makes a 1-1 one, one goblin. Again, you're making tokens, which is good for the meat hook, for the um, blood artist and any other uh, sacrifice effects that we may have. I know you're looking at the forge boss here, but wait, we're not quite there yet. Crucible of Defiance, you know, you can channel this to make the two one ones. This is, again, good because we like to make the bodies trigger the sacrifice or death effects. We've got the pathways and the dual lands here for consistency. Easy peasy, lemon, squeezy. And then moving on to maybe some of the newer cards in the build. First and foremost is the Forge Boss. A four drop, three, four. Whenever you sacrifice one or more other creatures, Forge Boss deals two damage to each opponent. This ability only triggers once each turn. Are you serious? Two damage on your turn. Two damage on your opponent's turn that's just with the forge boss and a single copy at that as it's non-legendary you can stack copies of this bad boy uh in the field plus it's a decent size three four body right so we do not mind the forge boss at all very very good synergy with the deck and fatal grudge for two mana sorcerer speed as an additional cost to cast the spell sacrifice a non-land permanent each opponent chooses a permanent they control with the same type as the sacrifice permanent and sacrifices it you get to draw a card. So this is really nice because, you know, we're making creatures. We also have artifacts. We have some enchantments as well, right? So we have all of our bases covered other than Planeswalkers. But we do gain access to that in the sideboard if push comes to shove. Uh, you know, removing whatever it happens to be, which is really nice. And we draw a card. So prioritizing our other removal if we need to make sure that the Fatal Grudge hits the correct target, right? Because they're going to get to pick which card they sacrifice, so you might have to clean up the field uh, beforehand to get the right creature off of the field with the Grudge if that happens to be how things play out. With this being said, we also have the Gold Hound, the goodest boy for one mana, 1-1. One, one. Artifact creature, First Strike Menace. You can sacrifice it to add one mana of any color, which is ridiculous. Turn one ramp is back on the menu. 
My biggest problem with this deck is I cannot put enough cards in it. You know what I mean? I wish I could just fill up more and more cards in here as well. So those are the three new cards that we have in the deck. Uh, we do have some goodies in the sideboard here as well. Uh, some adjustments that we'll talk about in a second. And then when we wrap up the video, we're going to discuss uh, the changes that we could make to the deck for standard and talk about some of the other cards that were put up for consideration within this build, right? So, you know, breaking away from what we have uh, as a new to the deck into, you know, the tried and true, the synthesizer for one mana when it enters play, exile um, top card of your library, sorry, the top two cards of your library, and then you can play uh, that card, uh, which is fantastic. Sorry, yeah, just the top single card. I don't know where I'm getting two from. Uh, and then you can play that card when it enters and then when it leaves, you can self-sacrifice for three uh, to make that 2-2 two -two as well at sorcery speed, which is decent. The Epicure is really cool because A, it deals damage when it enters. B, it's an early body, which might get damage in, uh, and it's a sacrifice target. And then C, it makes that blood token, which is really, really good for the deck, right? When we start sacrificing those artifacts, we'll take Surge, removal two damage. If we don't sacrifice an artifact, if we do, it's four damage, which is pretty cool. So not only does it allow us to sacrifice an artifact for the trigger, but we're going to get uh, a lot of damage uh, in there at instant speed at a relatively cheap cost. Daily Disputes, sacrifice uh, you know, creature or artifact. This is great, very easy for us, and it's going to help us propel through the deck. Draw two cards and create a treasure token. Absolutely love it. Infernal Grasp. So this is going to remove things that Voltaic Surge can't get, right? Um, you know, toughness five or greater, then the Infernal Grasp can easily take care of that. The Blood Tithe Harvester. Um, this is fantastic as well, again, because it makes the blood token on ETB or enters the battlefield. You can tap it to sacrifice it to deal twice. Well, not deal twice, but uh, to deal uh, twice minus X minus X to a creature in opponent controls where X is the number of blood tokens that you control at sorcery speed, which is pretty decent. And again, it's a sacrifice effect. It's removal, um, which is really quite decent. Then, you know, one of the main engines of the deck, the Ani Cult Anvil for two mana artifact. Whenever one or more artifacts you control leave the battlefield during your turn, create a 1-1 colorless construct artifact creature token. So this is really nice with something like the Gold Hound. Turn 1 Gold Hound, turn 2 Anvil, then sack the Gold Hound, right, for mana, and then you can boom, play uh, an Epicure. Maybe you remove something with the Voltaic Surge. Absolutely fantastic. That's going to trigger the Anvil. You make the 1-1, and then you can still tap the Anvil later for that one damage. Sign me up, right? And then... Clearing the field with the meat hook, this is really just meant to be in play for the trigger. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life, right? So play it for two if you need, whatever it happens to be. Just get it in the field, and then whenever a creature and opponent control dies, you're going to gain one life. So that's going to help sustain your total, right? The brush stroke as well, uh, alongside the anvil, one of our cornerstone cards here, enchantment for three. When it enters the battlefield, conjure the blood artist directly into the battlefield. And then whenever you sacrifice a blood token, each opponent loses one life, which is going to be really good because you'll be sacrificing those blood tokens uh, either to cycle through your library as the blood tokens organically sacrifice for or using the anvil to sacrifice those blood tokens, the deadly dispute to sacrifice those blood tokens, the voltaic surge to sacrifice those blood tokens, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and that's going to deal a lot of damage to your opponent. Breaking down our sideboard quickly, Blood Chief's Thirst. You know, if you need removal, don't don't worry. Just take a whole bunch of it, right? It's better to be able to remove everything uh, than to allow them to beat you up, right? So, you know, Mono Green uh, is around. You know, potentially Mirror Matches are, are really nice for Blood Chief's Thirst. The Duress, this is really good uh, if you're scared of Obnixilis. Uh, for some reason, you know, it's also very good against any of the control decks. Like, you don't want to get hit with a Farewell, for example, right? So you want to be taking those out of your opponent's hand. More removal through the Power World Kill, uh, Power Word Kill, excuse me. As long as it's not a Demon, Devil, or Dragon, uh, or Angel, you're going to be good to go. So, you know, really good against Mono Green. A Braid, if you're killing artifacts and, you know, dealing damage to creatures, again, you know, double removal, which is nice. Soren, if you need the life gain through the Vampire via plus one looking, uh, sorry, via minus two, creating a two, three vampire with lifelink and flying decent plus one is a draw engine which is you know not the worst but we have plenty of draw in the deck anyways uh looking at the top card revealing it into our hand if we do lose life equal to the mana value and then minus seven dealing 13 damage uh to any target and gaining 13 life which is an auto win uh more copies of the duress right you know control decks um you know just non-creature based decks uh, of course obnixilis is a big one that you can take painful bond again you know 
propelling ourselves through the deck at an expedited rate. And then uh, Shadow's Verdict, because again, we can't stand all Nyx list. Let's get rid of the Devils. Let's get rid of the Planeswalkers, right? And just, you know, get out of here. And then an additional Meat Hook if it's a creature-based matchup here. And, uh, you know, we break through uh, the, you know, different sideboard plays as we're playing today. Uh, fairly decent win rate. I think we only lost one game, and it was a fantastic match as well. Uh, we are chilling, uh, 697, currently monitoring our decay rate, and we're, um, you know, refresh you guys with that as we go uh, and wrap up today's video, right? So doing well with it. There is 26 hours left in the season. We want to finish within the top 1,200. This is how we plan to do it. That's going to give us access to the Mythic Qualifier, and then hopefully we perform well making it into the Arena Championship, a $200,000 uh, every four-month event. Very excited for this. So that's the deck. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe, share the channel to your friends, families, and uh, dogs. Wolf, wolf, baby. <laughs> Become a YouTube member, whatever it happens to be. But most importantly, have a magical day and enjoy. Conan goes first. Crucible out, pass turn. Dent out. Hopefully it's a land. One drop. Oh. Not sure if we need that, if this is a roll matchup. Oh, would have been nice. Just snag it. Hold up removal. I want a deadly dispute that synthesizer to start our next turn, so I wouldn't mind grabbing a creature here. Pretty good. Grabbing something good on top. Now what will it be? They do have to reveal it. I always thought the Moon Blessed Cleric would see more play than it did. Honestly. It's pretty decent. Enchantment. Come into the tap. Now this could be a meat hook, right? An enchantment. Taking their time for the search. Hey yo. Dial Cross in Twitch chat wants to say hello to the YouTube crowd. Rope is up. Honestly, as someone who's trying to finish within the top 1200, not only this month, but every month, and in the following months, hopefully the top 250, uh, if this is a free win, it's a free win, and I'm pleased with that, right? You know, obviously them being in Platinum, uh, will give us less MMR per win, but the incentive for a Platinum player to finish the game is not what it would be for a Mythic player, right? So they could scoop and walk away, and it's like, oh, no foul for them. We still do go with the brushstroke first on curve. Second brushstroke next turn. Hopefully we get a fifth land and we can deadly dispute a blood token. Now, does this hit our artist? I would assume it does. You're a bully. No, it's okay. That's a great play. Brushstroke. Goldhound. I'm a big fan of. I like this gold hound. The goodest boy. Turn one ramp is back on the menu. There's Snoop there. Open up with a dispute of the synth.
it's a hard call, right? We want to cycle a blood token first for two damage. But what would we throw? Nothing. With three of, like, oh, we... Mm. How do you not just stack three rush rope? Too good. Now we're just stacking blood tokens, right? This is gonna get damage, which is fantastic. Here's a third. No attacks, and we have, uh... Three, six, nine, twelve damage just in blood tokens. No blocks, twenty life is whatever. Cleric is okay. And away. Get out of here, land. But look how much damage these brush strokes are, right? Pretty ungodly. gonna make another blood token well they block it's two damage if they let it through just one down to three and we have the den to wrap things up good game Encampment's mill. I think we want the verdict. We lose, we'll take verdict. How about that? Uh, I mean, I think that all should be fine. I don't necessarily see a hard matchup. Drop one grudge. Was pretty nice. Hook. Because if they have creatures, the hook should be really good. Like, you know, both uh, individuals on the field state have creatures. The hook is fantastic. Most out of it that way. It'll grudge one of the new cards build. Kind of uh, testing things out. Rifter can dive on command. I'm sure there's a counter spell here, so I don't want to lose the end. Ooh, really? Wow. Maybe it was anvil specific. Right, counter target enchantment, or, you know what I mean? Like, and then all. He'd ranked. Have board. Nimble. Just good. Instant. Sorcery. Artifact. They take the anvil. That is freaking fantastic, right?
Let's just smash. Whatever. Four damage is pretty good. Draw two, make a treasure. Hey, that's not bad. For one. Pull up a surge. Dispute if we need, but I'd rather wait, not spend the treasure, I guess. Freaking cleric. That, I guess. Pull up dispute. Dispute the blood token. Struck out. Baron for one. We sacked the one with uh, summoning sickness. Beautiful. Get a draw off it, which is um, very nice. And that additional damage through the first epic here. This is an enchantment at least, right? We get some damage in, which is always really nice. Three. There's draw for next turn. Easy. Easy. Lemon squeezy. Right? 1200 up to 850. That's not too shabby. We appreciate that. Thank you. And looks pretty decent. Gonna keep seven here. On the draw, which isn't great, but is what it is. Lots of land. Also is what it is, but it's better than no land, right? He hooks decent. Be a mirror match. Different one. Gold up removal, we hold up dispute.
Let's leave it for now. I'm tempted, but. That plunder is a good card. Right, very good card. Plunder's cracked out. Goldhound's done some serious lifting here. We're in a bad spot, though. Really? Uh, we have them at 13. We have so much work to get done. As long as they don't drop a meat hook in response, we might be okay. Yeah. Good. Is it an, an abrade? Or is it a, a, a draw? Abrade. Hey, that's good. All right, really slows down our engine. Unpleasant, but is what it is. What if we draw a Blood Artist? Pick up. Ugh. Oh, we should have Blood Token that. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, we couldn't blood token it because it was in exile. We couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't even do that. Oh. Interest. I like this deck we're playing against. This but D -D -D Dudley. Ooh. Really bad. It's a red source if it is a land, yep. Yeah. 
This does not look good. Interesting. They must have instant speed removal. They interact with a double block. I would assume. Because there was no cave, right? So. A little awkward. Close. Oh, that's great. They can gain life here. Right? Mitigate that. It's really good. So now if we don't cast, it goes to night and we're dead. We're dead anyways. Meat hook off the top. I need to discard, though. I need... That land that we discarded in hand still. Can we survive this turn? No. Get hit for three, seven, eight damage. Well, maybe we do. We gain one life, gain two life. Oh gosh. We have three damage next turn. They go up to nine. Yikes. I don't know how we're going to find six damage. Oh, we have some damage here. We're looking for five more damage. Get hit for four and then five. That doesn't work. It just gets us close. I guess we just need a meat hook. Even that is not going to be enough because that night. Certainly not that, so. I do think the, the land attack would have been better, but again, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. mana. Nothing we could pull at this point. We do get them down to three. I mean, that's fairly close. Oh no, because this is a... Uh, I'm going to Dang, yo.
minute left. I'm trying to parse all of this. We need the draw. The draw is really important to us. We're having to mitigate their plunders. We know they're going back there because it works so good. I don't want to try to duress it. I don't think we're going to get away with good value that way. Save this meat hook, right? Red scry. Oh, I like how it shows it being red now. That's a quality of it. Straight up Anvil Town. Ooh, and tapped. so good. We didn't get our fourth land, it sucks. Oh. Hard to complain, but dang. Not a land, right? <laughs> Need a land. Ends. And then we can meet Hook, hopefully, with two or three. Hopefully there's not just removal. That would suck. We can prolong the wipe until Kiki flips. That would be good, too. Bursary at Braid. Hey, at least it takes all four of the damage, right? At least. Because it could have been on a Blood Artist and then that excess damage is going to kill another Blood Artist, right? No, we don't want that. Is gonna be weird, but I have to get the match going. We need another land. This is good for them. Turn, we're chilling. Another land. That taps them out. But it's a token, so I don't care. Let's jump block.
Yeah. I mean, if we... Because we're not going to get that Tigrid anyways. Then we can just tap this for mana, right? Then kill Tigrid this way. Get the draw. Oh, it was an artifact. Oops. Literally fucked that up. The creature was an artifact creature. So they were able to sack their treasure. Didn't even see that. Hashtag whoops. A brush stroke is never a great feeling. Especially when they get it. Oh my lord. That's gross. Oof. Well, that's probably game, right? Shit. For a second, I thought we had another meat hook. for another meat hook. Just get rid of that blood artist. Really, you motherfucker. Oh, I'm not I'm not allowed to sacrifice that. I'm not allowed to sacrifice that. Thanks for going right through my fucking trigger arena. That's awesome. You're really cool. And again, it goes right through my thing again. What the fuck? Wow. Really cool of you, arena. That's awesome. Fucking deadly. I really appreciate you skipping two of my phases.
We just I hear I think. We play to land. Yep. Find lethal, right? Dang, yo. Match. Okay, we're gonna play first. Play slow. Still gonna go with the creature first. Just so we can attack. And then the anvil has something to sacrifice immediately. Okay, start. They are venturing. Again, the anvil. Play the synthesizer next turn. More single, more venture. Not great, but it could be far worse, I believe. They're gonna play a creature here. A paladin for another venture. Wow. Don't have enough to hook. But that brush stroke is fantastic. Meat hook does one, two, three, four. And we have five, six, seven, eight, nine damage. Takes them down to five. Whatever, let's just triple block. I'm sure they have another. And it takes that meat hook for nine away, but we get some good damage here. Starting to give those plunders the draw always. Especially if they already have a full hand. Fuck, that was the removal we gave them. to six.
Mm, that could be worse, actually. Just bring it back. The blood artist is there, actually, as well. Ooh. 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 Good damage. I think I'm going to keep that mire there. No, but farewell, we're going to lose our graveyard anyways. This way we have more mana. And drop the forge boss. I'm gonna drop the grudge. I see they have a blood token. Bond in. Another meat hook. Power world, right? Oh, is that an ain't no it's a dragon. Get the dragon, get power world out of here. Great, I'll get it. Dead. Roll out. I don't know. I know. Old in here, that's what I know. Jeez. Best boy. I like it. It's fine, we'll just nuke ourselves. Not too shabby. Good start. Artist. A lot of sense. Kind of a bummer. <laughs> Our best card. Ooh, that's really good too, though, right? Ouch. Very good against yes.
Let's just end it here. We would have lost the token anyways, you know, end result. For to have done it earlier. Ouch. Their bond, like, hurts. Another land. Stop it. Actually cancel. It could be another city stalker, so we want to wait. Two cards left in hand. Take the brush stroke damage. Oh, well, we can. Because it gets sacrificed. Creature Planeswalker enchantment. Oh, we should have sacked that too. Forgot about the creature. Shit. Whatever, we'll just do the uh, treasure. Don't want to do it. It's a very grindy. We need to get as much as we can in. Cycle the blood. The nine. Keep it in hand, try to force a discard play, right? They're like, oh wow, that must be that must be good. Take them down to nine with the anvil. No creature land. Plenty of life. Guess we should have played it. <laughs> but maybe they would have spent their mana another way and left, you know what I mean? Just never played the plunder. So it's hard to say whether that's an, uh, you know, optimal play line or not because we don't have all the information. Trying one, which is good. Played in game. Oh no, they make a uh, serious with this. That's crazy. One, two, three. Lands we've discarded. One in hand. Five in the field. Former might stabilize and come back to get us here. We need some good draws. City Stalker on a land, just kind of like a haha -ha moment, I guess. Fuck this. Oh, we do not block it, motherfucker. That's good. 
box. Nice, bro. Oh. Ouch. Hmm, I guess we should have been playing those lands. Trying to top deck a meat hook. Oh, another land. Nothing new there. Keep in mind, we've discarded four of them as well. Four, eight, twelve, fifteen damage. That's sick. Why didn't they attack with for lethal? I, I I don't know. Four star block on the paladin. drop which I don't well take that other abrade Hmm. Yeah. Get that Forge boss back. Play first. Mulligan first as well. Could be worse. We'll toss the crucible. Harvester is a go. Dare make me discard. Oh, white. Hmm. That's interesting. Shoot through that. Source, I suppose. Do we get my it could be an anvil, right? game. I would give them a hug if I could. That has got to hurt.
Ooh. That does not make things any better. <laughs> two of them. There's two of them. Poor guy. Nice. <laughs> oh, you're a bully, HGG. Holy Toledo's. Playing first. Okay. Okay. Not a good boy, but it's, it's an alright boy. Anvil into brushstroke. I mean, it's really good. They might scoop. I don't know. Freaking pup is annoying. Trample's really good against us too. If anything saves us, it's gonna be these double brush strokes. Take our damage, make the token. No attacks. Mm, could be worse. Honestly, could be worse. Might have removal though. Keep cycling with the anvil. Really good start. Just worried about the big trample that they get. Oh, that's really good too. Hopefully they don't have a wonder. We can cycle the blood token here. To get one damage through. Three damage counts, right? We get that additional damage, some creature dies. So if they do kill the blood artist, at least we had interaction along the journey. Yup. I knew it. I knew it. Triggers at first too, which is nice. This really was our best option. They're down to eight. Artifact creature, there's no artifacts here. We're gonna be okay. We make the token raw, which is the most important part. And they drop their tenacious pot. Good, 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 good. This is freaking fantastic off the top. All right, we take them down to four. That is good. Good as it gets, right? Should be able just to take lethal here. It 
This guarantees it. I wanted to drop that forge boss there, but molten impacts are really good. Take some more removal. I like the forge boss, but I just feel it might be a little slow. We have to go very quick if we want. Grab our bonds, and now it's just like super speed. On the draw, punching upwards always if you're on the draw, punching down if you're on the play, it feels a little bit more balanced in alchemy because of the crossroads, but. I mean, hopefully they're just not here. <laughs> You know what I mean? Hopefully they're just not here. <laughs> I mean, if I was a, a diamond player, I'd fuck off after my bus. If I was diamond four, I wouldn't play the second game. But if I was, you know, not diamond four, or even diamond 4.5, or 3.5, I guess, you know what I mean, a couple ticks in. But if you were, like, right at the bottom, just, like, I don't mind Hollowed Fountain. It's okay. Pretty mid rangey, but you can drop it for free. Like, if you play a fountain with, uh, you know, Elspeth, or God forbid, from the festival, it's not that bad. To try to play it on turn three on curve, well, no. Not the greatest, but it could be far worse. Like, at least it makes the token on turn one. Like, you untap a creature and make a token, I think, on entry, so... Not that bad. I'm gonna keep this hand, even though it's really bad. Alright, there's a blood token there. Synthesizer. Then if we get to two... Bond. Cute. The surge is active. Well, so. Not all bad news bears. And I don't think they're even here. Right? I'm pretty sure this person's gone. Pretty cool. Me. Maybe we can get back up to that top 800 spot. Do artifact tokens make that artifact trigger that makes ones. Absolutely. Like, when you sacrifice it to spend it as mana, it's still a sacrifice effect. If you sacrifice it to cycle from your hand as a blood token, it's still a sacrifice effect. Um, there is also Gold Hound, sacrifices to make mana like a treasure would. Peace, bruh. Thanks for the freaking. Top 700. 
Top 700. Top 700. <laughs> oh gosh. Top 700. Top 700. Top 700. Top 700. I forgot I was still recording. That's a that's a little uh a Twitch stream bonus for the YouTube gang today. Uh, 669,000 gold to Poggers. Wow. Uh, nice. We're goofing off. Come say hello. We do every single one of our new cards. Hopefully we can curve to four. Two blood tokens. Okay, they draft. Double strike. Back a blood token. Draw two, make a treasure. Oh, that. I really want to just nuke the double strike. So here's the anvil. This is a sacrifice on the treasure. Back the creature. Triggers the anvil. We make the artifact creature now, the 1-1. One, one. We draw. <clears throat> End our turn. Ward one. We can go straight with the forge boss. Back for one. Through. Sack. Our creature. It's gonna make a 1-1 one -one to replace itself and deal three damage. We gain one life. Good, good value. Now we can start stacking these. Oh boy. Go down. Oh wow, taking the turn off. Field counter, instant speed. They also can channel this to bounce showdown if they want. A3 life. Guess we didn't. Felt like it though. Here's another forge boss. A nice sized hit. I could block it and then put the shield counter. Oh, we just get damage? Wow. And then we deal five damage here. So if some of you are looking at this deck saying, oh, I want to play it in standard, see how effective it is still with the Forge Wash. We're not even playing the Brush Stroke here. And they're down to seven, six, right? We have removal. It's fine. You could definitely play this as a standard deck without a doubt. We have four damage here if we need. Can't pay the ward. But I will destroy this so there's no life gain before the attack phase.
but the shield counter is actually annoying. very annoying. That shield counter. Take a raid boss. Okay, so let's, uh, it's their turn, right? We can hit the savior. We can sacrifice our creature, and that's going to trigger both bosses before the, it gets exiled. So now they're going to shield on the samurai, I'd assume. From hand, even. Molten impact. Whatever. Held anyway, so. They will have lifelink here, though, which is really bad. the shield counter. Us. Ooh wee, but then they're gonna gain six life here. Lucky. Up to eight. Stroke out. Might get damage here. We should. Right, at least if it's that one from the samurai dying. Goes through entirely. This could get two damage on their turn as well. This. We have nothing to sacrifice. Not that. Stack the Blood Artist. And then on their turn, we can do the cult and build. Oh no. No, we can play the land, sack the blood token by discarding the harvester. That makes the creature that we now sacrifice perfect. Good game. Does damage as well. Brush stroke. Anvil. Okay, we can. We could wait till their turn and get an extra two for three, but you know we as well just take lethal now. Woof. Battlefield. I'm going to take the verdict. Drop the garage. Another hook. Maybe these are good because shield counter. Hook is definitely good. Try 
try our best, right? It's all we can ever do. Oi! I think we have to mulligan this. Anvil on two. I don't need it taking life gain either. Like, Let's play our creature. Always fill the board with creatures. Danville doesn't have summoning sickness. This does, right? Showing up a little late. Loves her new backpack. Thanks, Beetle and Grims. You said, yeah, that's my backpack. Matches my wheel. Let's just try and kill it. I mean, obviously, if we can attack for three, we should. I guess we don't lose life. Let's still trade with it if we can. Turn off our showdown. It's not bad. Definitely not a bad idea. Arm's edge. Uh oh. Oh no. Two damage. Take one. Whatever. down to 12. Not the end of the world, but this is not looking good for us. Need removal off the top in a big way. They have a land. They have a land. We're screwed. Well, no, this is a minus effect. This is minus four, so indestructible is fine. Indestructible is okay. They should uh, maul and it goes to five with the showdown. Fuck. Just take our damage. Tempted to try to make them block, they don't. We nuke their life gain for the turn unless they have haste and more mana 
Well, it could, I mean, it could be. Right? Haste for two. Three cards in hand. Oh, it's a showdown. Interesting. Oh, that's bad, though. <laughs> oh, that's bad, though. We're, we're so close. We attack with uh, Dan, right? Six, seven total. Force is a weird block. So we Epicure for one, down to six. We anvil out, sack the blood token, make the creature, and <laughs> I wish we had one more land. Did we play to land this turn? get a draw. So close. I bet they take it. Either way, we got them down to one. This is really scary for us. They have the plus two. So good. Did they minus on us though instead? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Six life. Unless we top deck remove. Yikes. Might just kill us here. Three cards in hand. Whip for nine. Dang, yo.
Not enough. Dang, yo. Game. Life flank. We're taking a braid. That is definitely an artifact. They didn't have many things, so kind of did make that fatal grudge or whatever not so bad. Got a good draw hand. Hopefully the meat hook saves us. time. I guess checking our data doesn't matter since we played another one. Filling up the field and we have replacement draw. Unit. We're gonna kill it, but whatever, still gets the life. Almost sacked a blood token. Shadow's Verdict is a nice wipe if they can build up. Lots of draw. Key piece of our sideboard removal. Back up 
blood. Life, we draw two, make a treasure. That's good. And out. Brush hook out. Anvil out. Game, they know it. There's no way you can come back from this. It's ridiculous. Hit for three. We gone crazy this round, that's for sure. <laughs> no. You're done. You're done, son. You're done. Oh, that's a lot of stress relieved. Didn't want to lose this. I didn't mean to play this round at all. We meant to go into the play queue with a new deck. Hashtag my bad. More damage this way. <laughs> it's pretty funny to me. Like, we are popping off so hard here. This is brutal. Like, this is fantastic damage. Wow. You see that shit? That was crazy, yo. Alrighty, so I know your question. How do I make this deck into a standard build? I don't want to play in alchemy. Well, it's really easy, and this basically is a standard deck. The only thing in alchemy that we're using is the Sangling Brush Stroke. Now, this is a fantastic card, but we can survive without it, and the adjustments are very easy. We also retain access to best of three if we wish by subbing out Painful Bond. Again, this isn't the end of the world by any means. So six cards you can drop, and I just increase the consistency, right? I mentioned wanting to include more than 60 cards because it's hard to tremble. Boom. Now I have an excuse to push the synthesizer up. Boom. Goldhound is back up. Boom. Body Dropper is now maxed out. So there is four or five cards. We only need one additional card here. Uh, and then we're back at 60. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. Dealer's choice, right? You can take a Body Dropper if you want, which is one of the cards that I did want to mention that is uh, performing fairly well. If you are interested, it is also very cheap to incorporate within your build, seeing as it is only a common, which is nice. Um, so yeah, that is the list. That is how you edit it if you want to play best of one uh, or best of three in standard, not alchemy. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Check out some of the other videos. We have put out so many new decks for the streets of New Capenna. I hope you've been enjoying. Thanks a ton. Have a magical day. And we'll see you soon in the next. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and become a YouTube member today.